So have you got a business plan and are you checking it regularly? Hi, I'm Martin Sharp, award-winning consultant, speaker, mentor and coach. And I'm here to talk to you today about one of those subjects that we all know we should be doing and that's around planning. Now specifically, our business plan. Now, you might be in a position where actually you either don't have a business plan and you're kind of making it up as you go along but things seem to be going okay but you're not quite sure because you're not measuring against anything. Or possibly you're in that kind of position where you've got a business plan you kind of made it four or five years ago but you haven't really checked it recently. You don't know whether you're working to that plan or to a new plan that you've been devising on the go as you've been running your business. Now, possibly you might be one of those kind of places where actually you've got a plan, you're kind of working with this plan, but the plan bears no resemblance to what you do with your business on a day-to-day -day basis. And you kind of feel a bit confused and you don't know exactly which way you're going to turn to make it work for you or how to even make a plan work for you. Oh, Perhaps you're in this kind of place where your plan is beautifully constructed. You know exactly what you're going to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. You know what's happening in the month ahead, the year ahead. You have already got your vision mapped out ahead of you and you're working to that plan. But picture this, you're not only just working to that plan, but you're in a place where every time something goes slightly different to what the plan was, you're already ahead of the game. You're already replanning, you're already changing what's going to happen, you're already predicting what's going to go ahead, so nothing comes to you as a surprise. You're already working out all the different scenarios and you already have everything in hand. Now just imagine, you're in that kind of place where the business is working beautifully and in fact you're in a place where you don't need to be in the business all the time because what you're doing is you're looking at the kind of measurements that your business is giving back to you so you can check it against your plan and know when you need to step in and make a change and when you just need to leave it to run. And this is the power of having a business plan. It's the power of having something there that works for you. But there are different types of business plans depending on what it is that you're going to be doing for your business. So some business plans are going to be like large scale. It's going to be something to do with your kind of mission, the things that you're objectively trying to do as an organization. Some are probably more tactical, maybe short term plans, things like projects or initiatives where you're trying to get maybe a new product out or a new service or something that which is going to make you even more money because you're making sure that plan in place to wrap around it and you're working out how it's going to do that for you. Then you've got other kind of plans, business plans which you might be using to secure investment from either a bank or an investor or a venture capitalist or you might be using it in a way of being able to secure the lease on your property for your expansion plans in your, that you have ahead. And all these different plans have different kind of characteristics and have a different level of information. So you need to make sure that when you're creating your plan, you're creating it with the right audience in mind. Because a business plan you might want to show to a bank is probably going to be different to the one that you want to show to an investor and will certainly be different to the one that you want to be using on a day-to-day -day basis to make sure your business is working. And this comes down to different focus, different things that they're going to be looking for inside that plan. From a bank's position, they just want to make sure they're going to be able to get their money back with their return on top. With an investor, they're probably going to be looking for something like what their exit strategy is going to be. How are you going to be able to guarantee that that kind of return on investment is going to be back to them? And what are you going to have in place just in case something does go wrong? And how credible are you as a person? Because at the end of the day, it'll be you that they're buying into alongside the plans that you put in place. Whereas for yourself, being able to run your business, you've probably got a lot of other things that you'd be looking at. You may be looking at it from a perspective of what resources you're going to need, both personnel resources and potentially equipment resources, or goods and materials that you need to be able to create your products or services that are going out. These will be planned in there, so you know as you start to expand, you can tell the difference between your variable costs, your stepped costs, and can your fixed costs, so you can make the most out of what you've got inside your business. And these planning aspects really need to be rounded off and thought through because if you're not going to plan today for your future when are you going to plan for it because if you're not planning for your own future then what you're fitting into is somebody else's plan you're fitting into a business plan for some other business and that means you're missing out on the opportunities of today and how you can make your business work even better so i challenge you to go out and have a look at your business plan 
make sure it is up to date, make sure it is relevant. And if it isn't, then get it up to date. For as the old proverb says, if you fail to prepare, you better be prepared to fail. Bye for now.